Hi there, my name is Cam and welcome to another Salesforce Marketing Cloud Functions in 5 Minutes. Today I'll be doing a quick introduction to the process loop in Script. So at the time of recording, Salesforce Marketing Cloud does not have a dedicated documentation page for process loops. And this awesome function is relegated to the subheading of an Script language elements documentation page. So to help explain this function better, let's make things a bit more colorful and step through an example piece of code together. So let's have a read. The for process loop in script has four keywords, for, to, do, and next. And it reads something like this. For something being equal to a value until that something equals this limit value, do some stuff, and then return to the start, incrementing by one. Okay, so let's fill in some of the blanks. Most for loops use the variable i and will start at one. And trust me, you'll see this a lot online. So let's start by filling the first section with at i equals one. So now that we've set the i variable to be equal to one, let's pretend we want to use this loop to run 10 times. So in the limit value, we can put the value of 10. So the loop will start at one and keep going until it reaches 10, doing whatever we put in between the do and next keywords 10 times. So let's give our process loop something to do 10 times. Let's use the output line function to output the phrase, this is a loop 10 times. Our AMP script code will look something like this. We can press publish to see the output. And there we go, the phrase has been printed 10 times over. Now let's go back into our function and alter the output slightly. Let's add the variable i into the output so we can see which loop number is being processed each time it goes through. Our code should look something like this. When we press publish this time, let's go into slow mode. When the Salesforce AM script parser hits the beginning of the for loop, it sets the at i variable to be equal to 1. It then proceeds to check if the variable is less than the 2 number. 10, which it is, so it proceeds with the function. It processes the output line using the variable i, which is currently set to 1. It then reaches the next keyword, incrementing the variable of i by 1, and returning to the top of the for loop. It then checks if the variable i is still less than 10, which it is, so it proceeds. This time, when it proceeds to the output line function, the i variable is equal to 2, and so it writes this in the input before hitting the next keyword incrementing by one and returning to the start again. It does this a few more times until it reaches the 10th run. On the 10th pass, the for loop checks if the at i variable is equal to 10, which it is. And so it sets a reminder that this is the final pass. The process loop runs, outputting the phrase using the i variable, this time set to 10, and then passes through the next keyword, proceeding with the rest of the email or cloud page code. So there you have it, how to use the script for loop in under five minutes. I've put a link to my documentation and a for loop learning challenge in the description below if you'd like to keep practicing your for loops in script. And if this video has helped you to learn the for loop in script, or if you enjoyed the for loop learning challenge, then please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.